Hello friends, Tony here, so welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you a new driver we have for Laravel Scout. So let's search here on the Laravel website. I'm going to search for Laravel Scout. And as you can see we have drivers Algolia, Melee Search and new one which is Typeset. And I'm going to create a Laravel project. So let's say Laravel new and show you how we can use that. So I'm going to name it uh, Laravel or just Scout like this no starter kit let's just say by default okay and let's scroll down because also here we need to require the Laravel code and also the driver so i'm going to copy this maybe i'm going to zoom it for you like this so Copy the composer required Laravel slash scout and let's come here and let's see in the project which is scout and here also I'm going to open this project with VS code and also now let's paste that into composer required Laravel slash scout okay then I'm going to also run the vendor publish for Scout provider, paste that in, and then let's scroll down here. Let's see. Yeah, we need to add the use searchable trait in the model. So I'm going to use the user model, but we can do the same thing for other models we have because in my project I have only the user. I'm not going to create a new one just to show you. So let's say searchable here okay and also you make sure you have import that and let's save and let's see what others other we need the queen i'm going to skip this and yeah we have the driver for alcoholia melee search and also the new one which is the type sense now first of all you need to go to type sense and i have opened here the type sense website go to documentation and go to guide here and we have get started install type sense now i'm using mac but if you use windows or linux you have also here for windows you need to have also the wsl installed for mac we have a if you want to you can use mac mac binary or have used the homebrew so if you have installed homebrew just say brew install type sense and then brew services start the type sense okay and here we have the default api key is xyz and the default port is 8108 okay let's go to laravel and let's come let's copy now this command so composer require type sense slash type sense dash php come here paste that in hit enter then the scout driver environment variable as well as your type sense host and the api key credentials with your applications .env file so we need to add them on the .env file and let's uh, copy them and let's open the .env file and I'm going to add them at the end now the scope driver is type sense the API key is xyz ok then preparing data for storage in type sense yeah we need to copy also this one and add in our model so we are on the user model let's close this and let's scroll down and i'm going to paste this one in here so public function to so searchable array and return array merge this array and here we add the array so we're going to transform this the string and also the created at this created at timestamp okay save then what we want is you should also define your type sense collection schemas in your application config scout.php file and 
if we open that, so let's go PHP config file and let's scroll down. We have the scope driver, which is by default Alcolia, but we have added the type sense and uh, we have here the Algolia driver, melee search, and also the type sense configuration. Good. Here we have the client settings. So type sense API key is by default XYZ. Okay. But we have added the type sense API key on the .env file. And we have also the model settings. And here we have the example that I'm going to uncomment this. We need also to import the user model, so app models user. We have user class, collection schema, and passing the fields name of the field is ID, and the type is string. Name of the field name and type string, and name created that and type integer. Then we have the default sorting field, which is the created that, and search parameters is query by name. Good, let's save, then let's see. Here also, yeah, we have that on the Scott file and dynamic search parameters if you want. And I think we are okay, so configuration file. Yeah, let's also copy this and paste it on the user model. So after this function, I'm going to add this one and just change from post to be users index. Okay, then configuring the searchable data. If you want to do that, but I'm going to leave it. And yeah, this is for melee search. I think we are okay now with the configuration for our project. Just let's scroll down and I'm going to copy this route and the register on our project. So I'm going to open the, the web routes in our project, scroll down and paste that in. Just we need to change something. First import the request from Illuminate HTTP request. Then instead of the order, we are using the user model. So add the user model, search. And why we have that here? I want to import the user model, okay? search the request search get good also i have opened the herd application and i think we are okay now let me just open here so yeah sorry for that we need to go to database and create here a new file naming database dot sqlite because I'm going to use SQLite. Okay. And also I think in the .dlv file, here what database we have. Yeah, we have MySQL, but we need the SQLite here. And comment them, save, and run here the PHP artisan migrate fresh. Migrate, but I'm going to say artisan migrate fresh because I have alias for that and now we are okay. Now, right now we don't have any user in our project, so let me just come here and search, uh, open the project, which is scout.test. Yeah, I misspelled that, so. Okay, here's the project. Okay, now let's go and uh, create some users. So I'm going to open the artisan tinker here. Okay, and I'm going to say user factory and I'm going to create 100 users. Okay. And for example, let's search for the this one. So I'm going to copy this and let's open here the url now we need to navigate a slash search slash question mark and where the search is equal with this name 
if I hit enter, as you can see, we have here, and let me zoom it. Yeah, here is that user. Okay, so let me open one more time with this one, and I'm going to copy this name and paste it here. So open the URL, just the search is going to be equal with the name here. And yeah, we have uh, the ID 100, the name, email, and so on. So if the request, for example, is Q, save, and if I refresh, yeah, now we have the parameter Q is required because we need to change that search parameter here to be Q, and now we have that ID 100. Let's see one more user here. So I'm going to take a random one. Christian here, which is with the ID 96. And I'm going to copy that and open the URL and change the name with this one. Hit enter. And yeah, we have the ID 96. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. How we can use the type sense with Scott in our Laravel project. Now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.